Let's take a look into Spring Boot project architecture. So this is a pretty simple Spring Boot project architecture. We call basically it as three layer or three tier architecture. Okay, so this is a three layer or three tier architecture and this is a widely used you know architecture in spring based applications all right so look at here this architecture contains controller layer service layer DAO or repository layer and each of these layer have their own responsibilities for example controller layer basically you know process all the requests that sent by the client okay and controller layer is also called api layer because we define all the rest apis inside a controller layer in spring based applications we typically create a controller and we you know we uh, define all the rest apis in the controller okay the rest api can be get rest api post put or delete rest api okay so just remember controller layer is responsible to process the request request can be get request post put or delete request controller layer is also called api layer okay next come to service layer service layer uh, we basically create uh, to you know to maintain all the business logic so whenever you have a business logic in your application then make sure that you will create a service layer and you keep all your application level business logic in a service layer so apart from business logic if you have any you know third party rest api call or any public third party rest api call in your application that you that logic you can keep in a service layer okay just remember whenever you have business logic in your application make sure that you will create a service layer okay and you keep all the business logic in a service layer next come to dao or repository layer well dao or repository layer is responsible to talk with the database and in this course we are going to use mysql database well dao layer or you know repository layer holds all the database related logic or persistence logic okay so these are the three layers uh, you know that we are going to create in our spring boot application and again uh, in a controller we call a service and in a service we call a dao or a repository so basically in spring based applications we inject service class or service interface in a controller and we call service class methods in a controller similarly in service class we basically inject a repository or a dao and then we call dao or repository you know methods in a service class okay so these three layers are independent to each other and then we'll inject the dependencies and we call its methods all right it's pretty you know a state forward uh, architecture that we are going to use in this tutorial or course and we are going to use postman rest client to test all the rest endpoints okay